Hello. The name of this story is The Sweet Porridge. The Sweet Porridge. Sweet is the opposite of salty. Okay? We have sweet and the opposite of salty. When we put salt to the food, um, it's a salty food, uh, like for any I don't know, rice or um, uh, popcorns, or they're salty. And sweet is the opposite, like a donut would be uh, sweet, or um, a cake, uh, cake, Cakes are sweet, um, okay? It's the opposite of salty. And porridge, it's a little bit difficult to explain. It's, it's a cereal made mixed with water or milk and sugar. And you cook it and you have a kind of cream. It's difficult to explain uh, because we don't have this here. Porridge is like una crema de avena, oat. But it's, it's cooked, it's hot, it's cooked, and it's sweet and sticky, okay? Uh, como una crema de avena, una dolça, una especie de puré, así para esmorzar. It's, we, we, well, they eat it for breakfast, okay? Or, well, it's a food, okay? <clears throat> okay, once upon a time, there was a little girl. A little girl, we will call this little girl uh, Martha, 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 um, lived with her mom. Her mom, her mom's name was um, Rose and yeah I know I don't know why I always uh, draw uh, mums with the eyes closed I don't know <laughs> and so um, this is Martha the girl and uh, who lived with uh, her mum Rose and they lived in, in a small village, they lived in a very small house with just one window uh, because they were very poor. They were poor. They had no money, zero money. They were poor, poor. The girl and her mom. They were poor. They had no money. They had nothing to eat. Nothing, nothing to eat. They had no money, so they can, they could not buy anything to eat. They had nothing to eat. So they were starving. They were very, very hungry. They were starving. And starving. You know this word, but just to remember how it's written. Okay? Starving. And one day they were walking in the woods. We used this word in a, another story. 
in the woods is the same as in the forest. They were walking in the woods and they saw They saw an, a very old lady. They saw an old lady. This is an old woman. A very old woman who walked with a stick and was very old. And the old woman said, or asked the girl and the mom, what are you doing here in the woods? What are you doing? And Rose said, we are very poor. We don't have anything to eat. We are starving and we are looking for some food, maybe an apple, maybe a strawberry, or something to eat, maybe some roots, you know, from the trees, the trees and the roots, something to eat because we are starving. And the old woman said, okay, here you have and she gave, she gave, it's the past of give, she gave a, a pot, a pot, we know a frying pan, a frying pan, and this is a pot, okay, a pot. She gave a pot to Martha and Rose and she said, this is not a normal pot. This is a magic pot. This is a magic pot. With this pot, you will have a lot of food and you will not starve anymore. You put this pot on the kitchen and you say to the pot, little pot, please cook. Okay. You say to the pot these magic words, this magic spell. Okay. Spell. Okay, this magic spell, this magic words. You say, little pot, please cook. Okay, and the pot will cook sweet porridge, and you can eat the porridge, and you will not be starving, will not be hungry anymore. To finish, when you are full and you want the pot to stop, you have to tell the pot another spell. You have to say, little pot, please stop. Stop. Little pot, please cook, and the pot will cook sweet porridge. If you say, little pot, please stop, the pot will stop cooking sweet porridge, okay? So they were very happy. They took the pot and they walked back home. They put the pot on the table and they said, little pot, please cook. And the pot started to cook, to produce sweet porridge. 
when the plate was full of sweet porridge, they said, little pot, please stop. And the pot stopped cooking and Martha and Rose ate the sweet porridge. And they were very happy. They were not hungry anymore. But there will be a problem, and you know that. Because one day, one day Rose, no, one day Martha got out of the house, she went to do something, and Rose, the mum, was alone in the house. Okay? And she was alone in the house and she was hungry. So she decided to say the spell to have sweet porridge. So she said, little pot, please cook. And the pot starting to cook sweet porridge. But when she was full, I'm full, it's okay, I'm not hungry anymore, she forgot, forgot when you don't remember something, she forgot the spell to stop the pot from cooking. So she said, uh, pot, please stop. But the pot did not stop because those were not the right words. And then she said, um, uh, little pot, stop. No, the pot did not stop because those were not the correct words. And she started to say things. Uh, stop cooking, uh, pot, please, uh, cook no more, uh, no cook, stop. But those were not the right words. So the pot cooked and cooked sweet porridge and after a while, all of a sudden, the house was full of sweet porridge. But she could not remember the right words. So, after two hours, the sweet porridge was not just in the house. It was outside the house, in the street. All the village was full of sweet porridge. Mm. Finally, Martha came back home and she saw the sweet porridge everywhere. And she said, li she yelled, little pot, please stop. And the pot stopped. But the village, all the village was full, full, full of sweet porridge. All the village, the streets, all the houses were full of sweet porridge. The good thing is that all the people in the village could eat the sweet porridge. They had to eat the porridge to be able to get to their houses, to their homes. And that's the end of the story. <laughs>